Hey guys, welcome to the 40th Autodesk Inventor tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to continue looking at the hole tool. So once you have a feature to drill into, just go ahead and open it up. And you can go ahead and place your hole any way that you want, but I'm going to go ahead and use linear placement. So the first thing I need to do is just select the face that I want to drill into and then two reference lines. And I really don't care about the location of my hole, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it where it is. And in the previous tutorials, we've already gone over just the drill hole, the counter bore, and the spot face. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the last hole type, which is something called counter sink. So just go ahead and change your hole type to counter sink. And as soon as you change your hole type to that, you'll see that the top of your hole is beveled. And you can go ahead and edit the angle of that bevel by changing this value right here. Now, if you want this bevel to be more steep, you can go ahead and increase this value. So I'll go ahead and make it 100, and you see it's now steeper. But if you want it to be more gradual, you can just go ahead and decrease this value. So let's go ahead and make it like 60. Oops, uh, 60 right there. And you can also go ahead and edit the width of the top by changing this value right here. Currently, it's 35 hundredths of an inch. Um, I'll go ahead and make it a half inch right there. And as you can see, it obviously makes it bigger. All right. But now let's go ahead and talk about why you would ever use countersink. Well, you'd use it if you had a screw that looked like this. And as you can see, if you wanted the edges of the head of the screw to be flush against your hole, you'd have to use a countersink hole to do this. So let's just go ahead and dimension this hole right here to be just the right size for the screw. So we're going to need to make the width of this top right here to be 4 tenths of an inch. So let's just go ahead and change this value right here to 0.4. Then we're going to need to make the angle of this bevel right here 90 degrees. So we'll have to go ahead and change this to 90. And then we're going to need to make the height of the entire hole to be 3 quarters of an inch. So I'll just go ahead and change this to 0.75 right there. And then we need the width of the actual hole to be 2 tenths of an inch. So just go ahead and make that 0.2. So if we had a screw that was exactly this size, then it would fit perfectly in this hole right here. So let's just go ahead and click apply. And as you can see right there, we've now got a hole that would be a perfect fit for this screw. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on how to use countersink. So see you guys.